Okay, I know this video is entitled Parallel Lines, but really making parallel lines is nothing special. Making a parallel line through a given point to a given line, now that's something special. So let's start. Here I have line one and I have point P, which is not on the line. And I need to construct an additional line through P which is parallel to line one. So let's think about what I'm going to do. Um, to make a parallel line, I want to construct first a perpendicular line through P, and then another perpendicular line through that line, which would cause it to be parallel. So if it's perpendicular this way and perpendicular this way, it would be parallel to line one. All right, first step, Stab point P, have your compass large enough so that it intersects the line twice. Once, twice. Okay, those two points are equidistant from P, so I can make an angle bisector, a perpendicular bisector, here. that will go through P. And I will make it extra long because now I need to do it again, but this time I need to go through P and go perpendicular this way. Now, first off, I need two points that are equidistant from P because now I want P to be the midpoint. So I'm going to choose any size on my compass, and I'm going to mark two points bonk, bonk, that are both the same distance from P. Now P is the middle, uh, if I put an A and a B here. You see that? So now P is the midpoint of AB. And if I make a perpendicular bisector of AB, and that I now have a perpendicular to that red line and it goes through P and there's my line 2 so this one was perpendicular the red line was perpendicular to line one, and the line two is perpendicular to the red line. So you can see those corresponding angles, and these lines must be parallel. Now, I want to do this again, but I'm going to do it a different way. I'm not going to do perpendicular twice. Um, and I want to recall that if two lines are parallel and they have corresponding angles, those have to be congruent. And likewise, the converse. If the angles are congruent, then these two lines are parallel. So let's get our line and our point. This time we have line two, or well, and point Q. This time I'm going to first make my transversal and that line right there, that transversal. And that transversal, the only thing that it has to do is it must go through Q. So here's my transversal through Q. Okay, now if I look at my sketch I want to make the corresponding angles congruent, which would in turn make the lines parallel. So we need to make this angle the same as this angle up here. And to copy an angle, you first stab the vertex, swing an arc that hits both sides, then stab Q, the point that we're going through, swing the same arc. 
starting to see it. Now take your compass and measure how far, how much of the arc you need. You see that? Now I can't put stab here so I have to flip my compass around and put it right here. And now I can draw my line that goes through Q and through this point and since this angle is congruent to this angle, those corresponding angles, now my two lines are indeed parallel. So there are the two methods for constructing a parallel line through a given point, not on the line.